Hey everyone, I'm Gladys Strickland, and I write adventure thrillers under the pen name G.B. Strickland. But in addition to being a writer, I am also a reader. And what I want to share with you today is how to use BookFunnel as a reader. If you're not familiar with BookFunnel, it is a service that sends ebook and audiobook copies to you. So if you sign up for an author's mailing list, you may get a free ebook or audiobook and it would be delivered through BookFunnel. If you are an advanced reader and get an ARC copy, then you could get that through BookFunnel. And what's happening more and more, authors are selling direct. And when they do that, they will then deliver the books through BookFunnel. It's not hard to do, but it is a little more involved than the one click if you buy something on Amazon and it automatically sends it to your device. So I want to walk you through the steps today, show you how it works so that you're familiar with it and can take advantage of it if given the opportunity. Now, let me note, I am recording this in May of 2024. So the actual steps that you need to take, especially when it comes to each device, may change in the future. Be sure and check the description below because I'll put in notes if there are any updates and I will also have a link to a blog post that will have screenshots of each of the steps. So as things change, the video won't, but the screenshots in the blog will, and that should help. To start with, you are going to get an email, and in it, it's going to have a link for you to click, and that's what you will do to get started with BookFunnel. So this is the email that is sent out to new subscribers on my email list. And so to get your free download, you click here. And then that pulls this up in a window. Now we're in book funnel. And you have two choices. Start by reading it in your browser if you want. So if you click that link, it's going to open it up in another window and you can read it there. But if you want to get it on one of your devices, what you'll need to do is click on the big blue button. It can be, say, get it now, download your book, different things like that. Now you've got another choice. What is your preferred reader? So your options are the BookFunnel app. And yes, BookFunnel makes an app. You can download it onto your phone and use it to read and also use it to listen to audiobooks. Kindle, if you use Amazon. Kobo, Nook, Google Play Books or you can read it in your browser. You can also then download it. So you can email a copy of it to yourself, you can download the EPUB file, or you can download the PDF, um, PDF rather directly to your computer. But what I want to show you is how I put it on my Kindle, since that's the device I use. So you click there and then all you need to do is follow the steps. So it's it's very straightforward. It seems like a lot, but it's really not. So the first thing you do is click to download the Kindle file. And then you need to put that somewhere where you can find it. So I've got it in my download files, and I'm going to leave it there for right now. But you can also cut and paste it into another file on your computer so you can find it. Because you're going to need it, because now we're going to send that file to Kindle. So now you're going to click on the link to send to Kindle. And then what comes up is this section where you either drag and drop your file here or you select a file from your device. So, so I go to my download file and here it is. So I'm going to drag and drop that over there. You can do more than one file at a time if you want, but since this is the only one, I'm going to go. Okay, you've got your file here. Be sure you've got it checked to add to your library and later on it's still available there and you can download it to another device if you want. And then click send. Now, you're going to see here is something I sent yesterday, sorry, in my library. This one is now processing, and this can take several minutes for it to complete. When it is complete, then you will get this sim 
um, message that says in library. And then once it's in your library, we're going to go put it on the device you want. Do not be surprised if that takes a couple of minutes to show up. But now it's in my library. So what you do now is you go down to see other files in content and devices. Click that link. And that pulls up your Amazon account. And here is what I have downloaded. And then I can go over here and click deliver to a device. And it's whatever you set up as your default device. But you can also put it in a collection if you want. Mark is red. You, of course, can delete it after you deliver it to your device. But then you've deleted it off of there. So that is what you need to do to deliver it to Kindle. But what if you don't have a Kindle? Well, let's take a look at some of the other options. So for Book Funnel, this will let you read Book Funnel on your phone, tablet, or computer. Book Funnel will save all, save your places so you can easily pick up where you left off on any device. So you will need to install the Book Funnel app from your device's app store. Then you enter this code, and then you can start reading, or you can read it in the Book Funnel Cloud Reader. So those are the steps for that. If you have a Kobo, then you can read in the Kobo app on mobile, and that will help you send it to the app. Or if you want to read it on your Kobo e-reader, then here are the ways that you can, can do it. And it will give you, it will give you all the instructions to follow. If you have a USB cable and you just follow the instructions, it walks you through it step by step. For a Nook, it's similar. You can um, read it in the Nook app by using the Book Funnel app to send it, or you can copy it with a USB cable to the Nook e reader. For Playbooks, then it's similar to the Amazon process where you have downloaded the EPUB file, and then you would click here and add it to your play library. And then you can always read it in the browser, which was what we looked at at the very beginning. So as I said before, it's not quite as simple as one click where you could purchase something and it shows up on your device. But it is not a complicated process. There's just a few steps to take, a few things to click, and then you're reading it. And I think it's highly worth it to be able to get things from authors, especially to be able to buy directly from an author. I keep more of the profit that way. So I think it's a great way to support the authors that you enjoy. And being able to use BookFunnel, it's a great service, and it helps a lot of us out. So if you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Also, if you watch this video and notice that something has changed in the process and I have not updated the blog post, please leave a comment and let me know so that I can go in and keep this as up to date as possible for everybody. So there you have it, how you as a reader can use BookFunnel. Until next time.